like so i'll be opening package or item number 11 for our spooky countdown by ember stack candles could be in here let's see i'm smelling like aftershave Ooh, what do we have here oh oh it's a okay it's a candle oh it's a skull candle always oh, uh speak no evil hear no hear no evil see no evil dark what's it called dark berries night or or kid precious wood cashmere musk and hand pulled vegan coconut rapeseed pillar candle oh this is lovely you know this is beautiful look at look at all the marbling i love that X, well the scent is different it's a bit masculine very masculine for, for my liking but i'm gonna burn it anyway i don't want to burn it look how beautiful that is though it's so pretty i just don't want to burn it. i want to burn just to see if it smells a bit different when it's um warmed up but yeah this is item number 11 and so far aesthetic aesthetically it's my favorite it's lovely and i love coconut wax like, something very luxurious about coconut but anyway let's carry on with our oracle card for the day hope everyone's october is going well so far Okay, what do we need to know for the next few days? All right. Ooh. We have ghost, regret, beautiful imagery. So today, in the next couple of days, we may be thinking back into the past thinking about things that we maybe shouldn't have said or done or etc probably things are haunting our mind and keep popping up in our mind and i feel like the message is here is if you have stuff that comes up from the past that you're not proud of that you're you know that you're not proud of personally or something horrendous i don't know something you, you truly do regret whether it's your doing or somebody else's doing um i think we should find a way to use that energy that emotion that that situation has brought to transmute it into something good for ourselves um to gift ourselves with that um possibility the chance to just transmute that darkness into something um positive and brighter for us Whenever we get an intrusive thought about something we truly regret, it will be an opportunity to quickly remind ourselves, to quickly switch it around and remind ourselves of um, the wisdom that we've gained, chance to learn from it, to, to learn and to get you know, wisdom, nuggets of wisdom and help others as well. So there's so many ways you can can transmute these energies to better your life basically so yeah it goes i'm going to actually read what's in the guidebook to see if any of this resonates with any of us so this is the guidebook <clears throat> okay ghost so there's a little poem here it says like smoke rising from the ashes a mist from the sea the dead they are watching they have come to haunt me the traditional definition of a ghost is the apparition of the spirit or soul of a formerly living being ghosts can be both in human form or animal then even occasional inanimate objects such as ghostly ships have been reported the belief in spirits and ghosts is extremely widespread across time and cultures and different words such as spiritus, wraith, phantom and shade have been used to refer to them. Ghosts can be both people 
that we have known, ancestors for example, who visit to assist us, presence that are bound to a particular place because they have found it difficult to let go even after death. The concept of the haunted house or the cursed place is the basis for many a creepy ghost story. In fact, the most interesting ghost stories often involve a very angry or destructive spirit coming back to wreak its, its revenge after death. The Old Norse word for ghost has the same root word as the word fury. It is said that the spirits that cannot let go of this world have a reason for this. Sometimes it is to warn the living, to guide them, but generally it is because they haven't finished their business here on the plane of the living. They have regrets that they wish to resolve. Should a ghost come gliding into your life during divination, it may indicate that you have some regrets to let go of. Holding grudges or regrets is burdensome work <clears throat> and it weighs us down eventually. By taking action to free ourselves of these old burdens, we clear the way for more rightful and wise action for the future. We can begin to live again fully if we let go of what was and step into new possibilities. Okay, so the Bible speaks of like letting it go, but I feel like um, realistically some things you will always pop up in your mind and I just feel like it's the perfect time to use those instances and create a reminder to like do a switcheroo you know like for example oh um, um I've had very short relationships um I haven't had a long I don't know, you know I break up with somebody maybe every my longest relationship is two months um what's wrong with me you could switch around and say well no actually I um, I'm glad that's happened because at least I know I know earlier on what not, what is not working for me, what isn't good for me. I'm glad I didn't waste my time in these situations, etc. I'm glad that it was shown to me more quickly that the situation wasn't good for me. So just to switch it, so switch it around. Um, yeah, good good chance to work on intrusive thoughts. But yeah. That is the reading for today. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it resonates. Please do give me a like and subscribe and share. Anyway, I'll speak to you all soon in the next two days for package number 10. Bye.